going on, fellas? Got a video from men only. Let's get into it. After my divorce hearing, where I was married for 10 years, I was a traditional wife, I was a stay-at-home mother to four children. One right. of them is disabled. She had four open heart surgeries. I have Ooh. been their primary parent since the moment they entered this universal realm. I'm the person that they have known from sun up to sundown and through the night. All right. They do have two parents, but the way our family was structured, I was the one that took care of them. He was a little bit busy doing other things. I like, like what? Like working? You were the primary caregiver. What? What was he doing? Don't say other things and just leave it at that. What was he doing? Was he out up to no good or was he actually taking care of his half and supporting through working outside the home? I wrongfully assumed that courts would see the situation for what it was and give me everything that I wanted and I would be able to remain their primary parent and remain Girl. in good, like just everything would be amazing and that's not what happened. I had to not only split custody, but in my in my opinion, it was horrible because this person doesn't even have their own home. He is. She's crazy. She is crazy. I would assume that they would give me everything that I wanted. Just like a modern woman, just like a modern. This is crazy that they say this type of stuff out loud. I mean, at least keep what you're thinking inside. Why would you say all this? What, what are you doing? living with his romantic partner so i was like how is the court going to give you 50 percent custody you don't even have a phone you're an actual hobosexual you have no home no job nothing there's no way a court is going to give you 50 percent custody they sure did not only did they they awarded him child support because he quit his job right before the divorce hearing to throw off our income and then the court used a really flip calculation for my income and it was just like literally the worst of the worst of the worst my attorney said her jaw was on the floor. She has never had a divorce end up so lopsided in her whole career. And then she wished me luck and I was on my way. If I didn't have the money to pay her, sucks to suck. Lopsided in the way that the man got the better end of the deal, I think is what you meant to say. In the franticness of like, oh my God, I have to give this person some of, I'm going to be homeless. Do you know what I mean? Like, how am I going to pay child support and pay my rent and all my bills when I'm barely making it by myself? Needless to say, it's been five years. I never went homeless. I never lost anything. I never lost my kids. And exactly. I've only gotten stronger and better. Exactly. And it was because in the franticness after that, I called an attorney thinking somebody has to fix this. Somebody's going to make it better. And I called an attorney. I told him the whole story. And he was like, do you want me to tell you the real truth? talk to you like you're my sister or do you want me to give you like the polite answer like he could hear the vulnerability and the the, the desperation in my voice <sighs> he was like get the over it divorces suck people get bad results and if you continue to try to fight with him in the courts you're only going to make yourself look worse you can be angry you can be mad but you need to just shut the up put your head down and focus on your life with your kids because the longer you sit in that anger about how it didn't go your way you're pop you're stopping yourself you're slowing down your healing okay. you're you're yeah you're slowing down your healing it was like a light clicked in my head like you're right it's over the divorce is over the decisions have been made i can either accept it and move forward and focus on my life and focus on solutions and focus on at least i don't have this ugly dusty in my bed in my body in my right. anything anymore and that's what i did and life got better the minute you stop looking at all the problems and start thinking of solutions Correct. everything starts to get better you know i'll give her uh credit where it's due you decided to take that advice and say let me do something productive with my time it didn't come out how I wanted it to, but I'm going to make the most of my situation. I'm going to find whatever type of lemonade I like and darn it. I'm going to continue that type to make that type of lemonade. I like raspberry. I like peach. I like uh, blueberry, whatever I like. I'm going to make the best of the situation. So even though there was probably misdeeds on both sides, you decided to listen and make the most of your situation. I I'll give credit to that. Let's break it down straight. She expected him to walk away with nothing. That's pure greed. These women are now experiencing what men have been dealing with for years when everything is taken from them in a divorce. Exactly. Suddenly, they're crying foul, claiming the court system is broken and unfair. It's not. The difference 
in like being a father and being a mother like i feel like most fathers get to just live their lives without like the worry of the children they don't have to schedule their lives around the children they kind of make plans with their friends all willy-nilly it doesn't matter because you know you have your wife at home watching the babies but then when you're like a mother your whole life is revolved around your children when you make plans i feel like you kind of have to talk to your spouse a couple days in advance like hey does this work for you so that i can go do this no why is if you guys are on the same page you wouldn't you would do the same thing that he would be doing and you guys would already already be talking and communicating what are you talking about right now it, a lot of women put themselves in these positions because that's what they want to do they don't take time to voice their opinion and their concerns and they just they not saying anything you got to some of these women be out here talking about the wrong thing they decide to speak up when they should be quiet and when they should be speaking up they're quiet that's your fault is that and why don't dads have like the bare minimum of like respect for the mother of their children to do the same thing okay I just don't understand why women feel the need to invalidate a man's experience because they're basically resentful that their husbands have freedom. A woman's idea of freedom is being able to get up and go. But last time I checked, a lot of these men are working to be able okay. to provide the necessities for his family. And guess what? He doesn't have a choice to stay home. He doesn't have a choice to call in sick. He doesn't have a choice to change jobs that maybe he likes better because he's thinking about his family 24 seven. But a lot of these women get so entitled because they get used to their lifestyles yeah. that they cannot even comprehend a lot of these sacrifices that their husbands are making. And, and let's care. be honest, a lot of women are control freaks. So even when the dads step in and want to help with Packing right. lunches or putting the kids to bed or getting them dressed to go out on a family outing. Women cannot handle it because they want to be control freaks. That's they right. want to be perfectionists. Talk They're about gonna it. about every little thing. Oh, you didn't put the right snack in the bag. You didn't put the right drink in the bag. Did you remember right. the goldfish? So eventually these men are like, it. if I can't do anything right, I'm not gonna do anything at all. Glory. And at the end of the day, I don't understand why you have to shun your husbands. If you want like PTO time or time to go do something, just freaking say that. Learn how to communicate like an adult. Amen. A lot of these women don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to talk about their needs. They just hold it in and then they make posts like this basically. Exactly. But what we're not going to do is invalidate the men that do it every single day by themselves without a complaint. There's a lot of single dads out here that do it without child support and you're not going to take that away from the dads that are good. Just because you don't have a husband or don't know men around you that step up and be dads and real husbands doesn't mean that you have to on the rest of them. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. She going it's off. astounding how some women preach about respect yet fail to demonstrate it towards the very person they're talking about. They aggressively fight for 100% custody, then turn around and complain that their lives revolve around their children. Men, in these situations, are completely undervalued and often forgotten. Exactly. I have been my son's primary caregiver since birth, and any of you who have ever applied for a move away request know that the stability is the stability of the relationship with a primary parent. You about to say something stupid. This goes for men too. You, you want to move and do your thing. I get it. If that's where you're going, but you have to understand that that's somebody else's child as well. You don't just get to pick up and move and do whatever. You sound like that first woman. That was saying, I thought I would assume that I was going to go to the court and get whatever I wanted. Stupid. You are not the only one in this world. And some of your motives are probably not pure. Why would any court system that has any common sense grant that? Girl, go sit down. Parent, not the stability of location. And unfortunately, we just got a judge who was new to family law Girl. had only been a judge for two years and never spent any time in family law uh -huh. as an attorney and that's what it is today is day nine uh -huh. of not talking to my son because dad won't let us talk to each other even though it's in the court order and dad if it's in the court order then they can enforce that but if you're sitting up here lying and he got him on his time then you need to leave that man as that's that man's time you need to leave that man alone what have you been doing that doesn't spend any time with our son and since he's had custody of him for the last nine days 
he has not spent more than an hour with him a day and the rest of the time he's been with other family members or friends and while I'm a stay-at-home mom and I am trying like to figure things out with my attorney but attorneys are incredibly expensive mm -hmm. so if enough of you watch this video girl maybe i can get enough followers no to no start selling things on TikTok. no this is no do not give her this money do not don't give her this money she all right we're gonna keep on doing this what they call it dry begging is is, is what i thought i heard uh uh average man unplugged <laughs> dry begging y'all gotta stop shop for promoting things on TikTok shop so I can pay for the attorney fees. No. And potentially get my son back. I'm doing everything I can. I'm trying to figure out how about moving back to where we were, even though we didn't live there. So you got yourself out of position. I don't know basically. what else to do, guys. I'm at a loss. <sighs> Today's been really hard. Yet again, you created a situation for yourself and it didn't work out. And this is what you're getting out of that situation is what it sounds like to me. But I, I could be wrong. I could be dead wrong, actually. This woman divorced her husband, who was the biological father of her son, and remarried a man in the military. Now, she has lost custody of her son mm -hmm. to the bio dad and is left with nothing. Yep. Let's be real. This outcome is on her. Yep. If the bio dad is stable and stationary, the judge made the right call. It's about the child's best interests not her personal desires. Now sit down and shut up. And I just got notified today that the lawyer sent the papers to the court today to be signed by the judge. Everybody keeps thinking that I'm handling this divorce so well and I'm not. I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm laughing. That's not funny. Next week would have been our nine-year anniversary. That's tough. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. <laughs> I didn't want this. I never wanted this. And it hurts, and it sucks, and I... Okay. That's not funny. I know that I'm gonna be okay. Yes, you are gonna be okay. But right now it really sucks. And I feel like I can't believe This week was K-Week, and well... He's like 20 minutes late. Right. I know that he's getting my text messages because mm. I'm getting the red receipts. I hope he's okay? I don't know, like, how long do I wait? It's been 30 minutes. I tried to call him. I tried to text him. I haven't gotten an answer. <laughs> you got a problem, ma'am. If you're sharing this type of stuff that's private on the internet, you have a problem. A bona fide certified problem. You are seeking attention and validation, and you should stop him. How can anybody live in a home like this where all you do is post your business? Who's going to want to be a part of that? Um, so I don't really know what to do. You can listen to I music. Um, with, with Netflix, Hulu, any other streaming service at the tip of your fingers. You could be watching a movie. You could be waiting. I can see if you get, hey, mama, have you heard from, from John? Hey, daddy, have you heard from Jack? Hey, I've been trying to text. And if that becomes a problem, guess what you can do? Take them to court. And see how to figure out what's going on. Hey, man, I'm not getting regular regular uh, communication. Excuse me, from this guy. I I'm worried. Hey, man, just I I'm not trying to do anything weird. Just I'm just asking you to communicate with me so I know, so I can make plans, so I can know if I'm at the right spot, right place. Something happened to you. Something happened to the child. Just let me know. But you guys won't communicate like that. You continue making videos like this, which become an embarrassment. It becomes a way for women to basically. Uh, dump on men and the man is doing what he's supposed to be doing y'all need to quit oh. 
They never say, they ne I'm sorry, they never say the man shows up on time. He's doing a great job. Fant well, let me say never, because there's, uh, not say never, because there are some women that do say, man, he's fantastic. We go co we're co-parenting, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of videos that you see like this, they, they never going to say he's doing great. He showed up on time. Child was intact like they should. Just, oh, man, this is happening. This is terrible. My life is over. And it's because of him. Y'all got to stop, man. Okay, looks like, okay, you sent him a map. Just be sure, just be sure we're going, we're going to say, okay, yep, all right. I'm here, what's your ETA, hey, are you okay? Uh, you really thought, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what, what? Hold on, let me see if I can, I don't know if I can. Let me see if I can scroll down. This man, okay, you y'all see that? You rely. <laughs> you really thought I was gonna go on a date with you? Dang, that's crazy, man. Kyle from Tinder. What are you doing on Tinder? What are you doing on Tinder? So I don't even know what it. So it's not even about a child. This is about her trying to get out there on the dating market. I'm going through so much. Hey, listen, man. You guys got to make better decisions. In whatever situation or capacity, you guys got to make better decisions. Stay off of Tinder, dude. Please. Like, you don't need, it's still going to be validation. You know, wrong reason on my part, but still validation. You're still looking for somebody to come up here and, oh, please talk to me. Why don't you, go, why don't you do the work of vetting these men so they won't waste your time? I mean, maybe, I mean, you was, you was in a relationship for what, five, 10 years. So you should have a pretty good understanding of what men look for, even if you didn't agree with it or you didn't actually listen to it. But you guys, you just, I'm just ready to be out of the relationship. And then you're getting yourself into the same cycle and pattern because you don't learn from your mistakes, his mistakes, the dog's mistakes, the child's mistakes. You don't learn anything. You just hop on a dating app. You look for somebody to come and hold you flowers, the first romantic love story that comes along and you get stuff like this. Let's say this man is a jerk. This is what you get for not vetting. Come on now. Hello. Hey. Hey. What are you guys doing? Oh, Jesus. Hey, we're at the playground right now. Hi, what's up? So I got stood up. Why would you call him and tell him that man don't care? And he kind of said something that really kind of just me up. Good for you. Why, um, are you why are you calling? Why are you calling that man? You didn't want to be involved with him. Why are you? Why are you bothering him? Come on. And I really just kind of want my kids. No. And maybe you would bring the kids to no. come, and I can just do it with them instead. No. Let me call mom and let her know what's going on, cause. I mean, I think they'd enjoy kayaking, but I'll ask them to ask them. We'll let them know, so. Okay, just let me know. Alrighty. Alright, thanks. I'll let you know what's going on. Alright, thank you. A clown. Alright. Bye. A clown. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we got some KFC. One of the hardest things I've had to learn over the last couple of months that I've been doing the alphabet My dating boy. is that dating as a single mom of four in my 30s sucks. I started this as a way to build a list of things that I want and don't want in a future partner. And I have had a blast as I've been going through all of these dates. And I've learned a lot. Trash, One of man. those things is that I want somebody who is going to be able to accept the fact that Trash. my children are the biggest part of my life. Trash, man. So far, only one person had shown any interest in my children. And he even ended things by of saying that he, he can't see himself with somebody four with four kids. kids. And that he already had a whole family, man. He already had a whole family. You broke, you destroyed it. You know what? Let me give it a benefit of the doubt and say there was... Uh, there was something going on, man. I would really love to hear what ac what actually happened because you crashed that man's time because you were doing something. It didn't work out. 
So you decided to rain on somebody else's parade. My God, what happened to going home and getting some ice cream like you guys said? What happened to, oh man, I'm just fine with my cats. Y'all guys, man. And it has been echoed throughout these dates. They all tell me that I am really great. They have a lot of fun with me, that they want to keep seeing me, but For that sure. they couldn't really see anything serious with me. Oh, and kids. I think that that is kind of getting to me because my kids are freaking amazing and I don't understand why you wouldn't want to spend time with them. Because they're not my Grass kids. is greener where you water it. This woman is just pathetic, needy, clingy, and full of regret after she sees what it means to be single, Do we have even though that's what she wanted. We didn't want a family, clip? but we need to feel appreciated. It seems women don't realize how little we ask for until it's over. A married woman's single or unmarried friends are her worst enemies. A woman's worst enemy is another woman. Single women keep other women single. They give terrible advice. Another woman... <laughs> I'd actually say some of these women out here, they're their own worst enemy. And then you have single women that are their enemy. And moving on, they're with someone else or whatever it is. And I think feel all those feels like you were with the man for yeah, yeah. Right. But it comes back to controlling the things you can control. You can't control what he's going to go and do now. He's going to do some things that you'll probably find out and they'll break you. But he's shown you what you need to see. And I think here is where you need to focus on your self-worth, looking after yourself, channeling into you, learning, growing, healing. We can obsess until the cows come home about what the other person's doing. But ultimately, we can't change any of that. And also, you probably won't know. And Men go and find other women and women go and find themselves. Right. Women often find themselves caught up in new relationships before they even finalize a divorce. Let's stop that. Men go find other women. Women go find themselves. You lying. We just saw a woman go find another man and continue looking for another man before she even quote unquote found herself. Why y'all capping? Why y'all sitting up here bold faced lying when we got proof in the same video that the woman might I add was on the wrong dating site? And wondered why she got what she got. You have four kids. You decided to make the decision to go on a bad dating app. Get stood up. And then mess with somebody else's time that he had. And then in the future, what are you going to repay him with? Oh man, I, I really can't. If he make a request, I really can't do it. Because I got this going on and the kids really don't want to leave. And maybe next time. And you're going to make that man wait. I hope you don't. I hope I'm wrong. But that's what a lot of women out here do. They make that man wait. It's not your turn. It's not your weekend. And if they give them back, they do it be begrudgingly. Oh, I, I, I got to see about it. But but you got to come over here and pick them up because I ain't coming out of my way. But then what that man do? He came out of his way. Not only did he come out of his way, have to do the communication on the back end with everything that's going on on his side. He came and bought dinner from KFC. Probably put down about 30, 40 bucks on what he bought. But you're not going to. Yeah, thank you. For bringing my kids. Not going to say that. Thank you for bringing this food. Thank you for allowing me to spend time when I'm, I'm hurting right now. We ain't hear that. We just heard I'm on this dating journey and I'm looking for a better partner. Oh, you mean like the one that just drove all the way across town to help you out in your time of need? Not that one, though. Anyway. Thanks to men only for the video. Please continue to go subscribe, watch the original video, support all that good stuff. All this stuff is just my opinion. Till the next video, I'm out.